Welcome to the second report in the mid-season review of new signings. If you missed the first one at Edgy Elise, then you can click on the link in the top right of your screen now, because we're going to have a look at Amad Diallo. The game is tied. We're well beyond the end of injury time. This will be the last kick of the game, and stood over the ball is a 20-year-old making only his second appearance for the national team. Amad Diallo showed no fear to wrap his free kick into the top corner with that last kick, sending the Ivory Coast into the win over Burkina Faso, and prompting Didier Drogba to declare that Diallo would be a far greater player for the Elephants than he ever was. He scored on his Serie A debut, aged just 17 for Atalanta. The 17-year-old off the bench and on the score sheet makes it 7-1 to Atalanta. Then he joined Manchester United for a reported 37 million shortly after this in January 2021 and immediately scored a brace against Liverpool on his under-23 debut. Another goal and three assists would follow in the game immediately after that. Amad Diallo is in here for Manchester United and Amad Diallo... He struggled to nail down a regular starting place though and was loaned to Rangers last season where he scored on his debut there too. Ultimately, he found it difficult to nail down a starting place there as well and was deemed too lightweight to make it in the SPL by the end of the season. Still, it was something of a coup to bring him to us, a newly promoted side to the championship on a season-long loan and big things were expected of him. We first saw him as a 76th minute substitute away to Middlesbrough. Sadly, there was to be no debut goal this time and as the weeks passed, it seemed as if he'd started here the way he finished at Rangers, struggling to nail down a starting spot he was used as a late substitute for seven of the first eight games after he joined us. The only game he started in those two months was against Blackpool, and he was hauled off in that one after the hour. One week later, the £37 million man had the ignominy of turning out for the under-21s. When playing, he looked visibly lacking in confidence and almost terrified to shoot for fear of wasting a chance, preferring to try and get past yet another player and walk it into the net. It was frustrating to repeatedly see no end product. He's Ahmad. Cut inside. Tony Mowbray expressed the very same frustration after the Preston game and the Blackpool game and urged him to take more shots on because he saw his skill and talent in training but not in the game. But Mowbray trusted what he saw in training and stuck with him and Ahmad's confidence grew. He started to beat men, take shots and netted his first goal against Burnley in late October. Jack Clark. Will he get a shot of it? Jack Clark releases Ahmad! Yes! yes! Ahmad there gets his go. first goal for Sunderland! And it was a great move for Sunderland! It was good move down that left-hand side, wasn't it? Good build-up play. That started a string of more assured performances on the wing, scoring at Huddersfield ten days later. Sunderland, we've got men over as well. Bennett plays it across the pitch. Ellis Sims plays it back. <laughs> Jerison Bennett, who shoots and no! scores! It's Ahmad! It's Ahmad! It is Ahmad! <laughs> Well, 3v1, it took an eternity it to get did, to the it goal. It took so long to get there. And we're not helping, slowing things up. Not sure what Luca and I have done there. And then snapping an early strike in the top corner of Birmingham only 10 days after that, in the final fixture before the World Cup break. From slow start to terrific impact, this loan move has come good to the extent that he now provides stern competition for the right wing slot and has kept Patrick Roberts out of the side most recently. There is rising expectation whenever he gets on the ball and runs with it. He's becoming one of our main threats and gets a nine from me. I don't suppose there's any chance we can keep him, is there? If you made it this far, well, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, I guess, if you liked it. Share, subscribe if you liked it a lot, and you'll get a notification when the next one of these reviews comes out. Thanks a lot.